Hey everybody, hope you're having a good weekend. Today we're going to go over a new SEC proposal, and it's going to be the CAT system that's currently in place. Um, a little bit of background about this, on 2000, in 2019, on August 29th, the committee approved a basically a provision that would have limited the total liability for the CAT LLC or any of its representatives at that time, and that would have um, done it to about $500 or any of the actual fees that they paid out throughout the calendar year. So this is actually a huge win for retail. So we're going to go ahead and look down at what this proposal will do. Um, it's going to provide that uh, cat reporters and cat reporting agents now are going to have to accept sole responsibility for their access to and the use of the cat system. Um, another thing that's going to do is limit the liability of the cat LLC and the participants and the representatives to any individual cat reporter or cat reporting agents to the lesser, basically like I was saying, the fees or the $500. Um, it's going to provide the cat LLC, the participants and the uh, representatives shall not be liable for all direct and indirect damages of any kind of that nature. So basically any time they went, any of that information that would have been sent to them got damaged, corrupt or anything like that, they wouldn't have been liable for it before. Um, on top of that, the CAT LLC and the participants and the respective representatives shall not be liable for the loss of corruption of any data submitted. So like I was saying, basically they would have been able to pay off their reporters. They could have um, you know, corrupted that data when reporting and they wouldn't have been liable for any of that. On top of that, um, they were talking about how cybersecurity, if they, you know, anyone hacked into that data, they wouldn't have been responsible for that, you know, that. So, you know, the CAT system saying that you guys should have your own security in place. It shouldn't be, you know, dependent upon us as well. So their argument basically is saying that the provisions that are currently in, that they're trying to amend up here is that they fall squarely within the normal industry and they're consistent with exchange rules that limit liability losses for members currently through their exchange that use FINRA and the OAT system. But obviously, we got rid of the OAT system for a reason. It was, you know, obviously garbage. And there was tons of loopholes that they were using to get around all of that. Um, it previously granted um, executive release that eliminate the requirements that the CAC collects certain personal identi uh, identifiable information. So it's talking about like social security numbers. And it's saying now that before when it first got set up, they were going to collect your social security number. And people said that that would have made it more susceptible to cybersecurity. Well, they're not going to collect that number from you anymore. So they're saying that they no longer need it for that provision. Um, CAT has been the best cybersecurity. Um, they have the best cybersecurity insurance currently that you can get. And they're stating by using this rule, this gives CAT LLC more incentive to make it even more secure than it did if they didn't have the rule in place. But like I said, why would they waste that money on all that so cybersecurity when they're the ones submitting the data and it should be up to them to get that in there securely. Uh, members will be are uh, will not meaningfully increase CAT incentives to manage its exposure to cybersecurity risk, but will significantly uh, increase costs and that will also be passed on to retail investors. So currently right now also the system set up to when this happens, retail investors basically pay for all of it. So Obviously, this is a big win if they can get rid of that and make these companies pay for their own stuff. So let's get into the SEC filing, our findings real quick. Um, the commission cannot make the finding on the proposed amendment it is necessary or appropriate in the public interest for the protection of investors and the maintenance of a fair market. By uh, eliminating this agreement, it will put more pressure on participants for information to be accurately recorded and secure. Um, since they are not going to be solely liable for any incorrect information, um, the CAT system, what they would be now. They think that this provision gives it, um, them an incentive to sending information accurately and securely uh, sending these files to the CAT system. 
participants and their representatives when they're acting outside the regulatory capacity is critical. And it would give the participants very strong financial incentives to invest in their own cybersecurity. So like they were saying, basically all this should be done by them and it shouldn't be uh, solely upon the CAT system um, to provide all that. And like they said, they don't want retail investors to be liable. They should be liable for all this information. So good day for retail. Thank you guys for listening. Have a good day.